want to talk about one thing that you should do in life that truly will just make you automatically that much happier. And this this goes for dating, this goes for, I mean, your car, your, your house, your whatever you have, is to stop chasing perfection. Stop, dude. Stop trying to want more and more and more and more. There's nothing wrong with goals. There's nothing wrong with goals. But when you're constantly chasing perfection and, and you're too picky with finding a girl or, or a boyfriend or whatever it is, it just leads to unhappiness or or my house isn't big enough or you know my car is not nice enough and this and that. And I'm not dogging on anybody that, you know, wants to be better or do better or has standards. That's not what I'm talking about. It's the consistency of perfection, of always looking as what's more, what's more, what more can I have? What, you know, oh, my girlfriend's cool now, but I could have a better one, you know? Look, in order to find the right person, what you want to do is that you want to really, really think about it. You really want to think about what do you want in a partner? What do you want for a lifelong partner and make a checklist, right? Make a checklist just about who they are, just strictly who they are. And what I would say is have a category for you can't live without these things. You can't live without these things and only have and make those a select few. You cannot live without these things. And then and then you want to go for your your trade-offs. I could live with it, but I really don't want to, you know, and make that a goal of 75 to 80% of she should hit all those. Everything else falls by the wayside, right? And let me tell you, if somebody is hitting the 75, 80%, if you get a 90% of she's hitting everything that you want, dude, and she and here's the thing here's the thing if she loves you dude that's it man that's it you're good you're good people are gonna say oh you're settling you're settling you're settling no dude what I'm saying is you aren't going to find this perfect one what I'm realizing is that that love isn't about finding the perfect person is that that love is literally giving your heart into somebody's hands and that they can crash your whole world but you trust them with all your heart to not do that thing now if you can trust somebody to not do that thing if your girl if you without a doubt let's say that you're gone for nine months that she is not going to cheat on you that that that's you know one of my things is that i do not want somebody you know when i was when i was picking the one i do not want somebody that looks at other people or that you know would cheat or be attracted to or, or text or, or you know Instagram any of that stuff any of that attention I didn't want and that was that was one of my number ones that was the top five maybe even top three if not higher than that and that was it and, and once I realized this and once I trusted her so much all the other things you know I could live and I I could deal with without those and here's the thing is that when you can live without those you can also almost have them gain those you can you can after a long time after years after practice after you've you've learned what she likes what she's learned what you like you can start to mold somebody into what you want as long as they love you and you love them and they'll try to mold you and that's okay it's a process and it's such a great process because you're taking another person's perspective and you're becoming a better person staying single and and trying to get these girls all the time i'm telling you it's great when you're in your 20s without a doubt great in your 20s but there comes a time where where your life you are not going to be in this world forever you're just not and knowing that and knowing that you want somebody there at the end and you know sometimes marriages don't work out and sometimes relationships don't work out and sometimes you got to just take it on the chin dude it is what it is but you know if you if you realize in this world that hey i need i need to do something bigger than myself that one day i'm going to go and that you know i if you have any contemplation about marriage 
you know, figure these things out. And that's the most important thing is, is to make a list of everything that you want. And when she's hitting those marks and she's hitting, you know, she's hitting the top ones and then she's hitting, you know, 75, 80, 90% of all the ones you can, maybe can't live without, dude, that's it, man. And the most important part is that she has to love you. She has to love you. If she hits all those marks and she loves you, dude, dude, that's it. That's it. You're good. You found found it because you're always going to be chasing perfection and hindsight is 2020 you're gonna look back and be like shit why did I leave that perfectly good girl that loved me that hit all these different markers why am I such a dumbass you do not want to be that guy and you don't want to be the guy to go after your your ex-girlfriend and try to make it work you just don't so just follow these rules tell me what you think you know like comment you know subscribe please i want to make more content for y'all so it's in the bottom all right peace